Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about one of the problems with phase. Phase is something that we don't worry about as much as we used to. And part of that is because when we were doing productions and they were going to possibly end up on TV, certain TVs, or they were going to end up on AM radio, you had to worry about mono compatibility because a lot of time the music would actually be summed down into a mono feed. Now, with headphones, we don't worry about that. With modern TV, we don't worry about that. Sometimes we still worry about that with phones because some phones still just have a mono output. iPhones for a long time were an example of that. However, we don't worry about that with them really anymore. But sometimes we're using a bunch of effects and we like how they sound, but they have all kinds of interesting phase things going on. So I'm going to show you how to see it. I'm going to show you an instance where this is a situation, and then I'm going to show you one thing we can do to fix it. So first, I have this song, which I'm working on. It goes from this last chorus into this little last outro section, and it goes from a three-part harmony vocal into a single vocal, but the vocal at the end has a bunch of effects. So just check this out for a second. So that last one, kind of to make it build even from the three parts into the end, has a bunch of effects on it. And we have a pitch correction, we have a channel EQ, we have a compressor, and then we have two effects which often cause phase issues. We have this one called Stereo Spread, which is one of my favorite plugins. And then we have the Ensemble plugin with the Symphonic 5 voice preset. So it's taking one signal and essentially duplicating it using some phase techniques and we end up with this kind of cool effect. So let me turn off both of those and I'm going to turn on the multimeter here so you can see this. This is showing us phase relationship. Anything that's straight up and down is mono and if it starts going out on the sides, that means there's information that's in the left and right channel. So without both of those effects, it's just a vocal, so it should just be right in the middle. We'll go back just a little bit here. Let's put a loop on this so it starts in the same place. Now check it, I'm gonna turn on the spread. Now what the spread does is it takes a mono signal and it spreads it out in the right and left stereo image. So anything that's down here at 20 hertz or just above that is in the right channel. Anything around 50, then it's going to the left channel, up around 100 right, into 200 left, and just above that right. So it kind of goes close to mono here in the 2K area, and then spreads out a little bit up ahead. You can make this more extreme, but this is what it sounds like so far. You can see it here on the multi -meter. And it's more interesting, if you're listening to this on headphones, you're gonna be able to hear that the voice actually spreads out some. But the correlation meter here is a reference to or shows the phase relationship as well in another way. If it stays on the right side, the phase is staying in a positive relationship. And if it goes to the left and to the red, that means it's in a negative relationship, which means if you were to sum this and add them together, things would actually be canceled out. So right now with this, check it out. I actually turn this multimeter on when I'm doing the stereo spread just to make sure we're not running into issues. But check this out when I turn on the ensemble. First of all, it's gonna have an even bigger sound. But it's hanging out down on the left side here. That means, let's turn on our gain plugin here, which actually has the ability to do mono summing. Check out the voice. So when I mono summon, it's actually canceling parts out 
even though I like how this sounds, this could be an issue in some rare cases. It also could sound a little funny if you're listening to it on speakers and you're just in a specific place. But the nice thing with the gain plugin then is that I can actually invert the phase on either the left or right channel. So I'm going to invert it on the right. No, I'm right. So now we're on the plus side of this. No, I'm right. But for the most part, it sounds exactly the same. This isn't affecting the sound, especially in a stereo image with headphones, say. No, I'm right. And now if I mono summit. No, I'm right. It actually doesn't cancel things out. So the solution here is just to phase invert one of the sides and then we're gonna be as compatible as possible with as many different destination formats as possible. And we don't lose any of the sound. It has that style that we wanted to with it. It's just a great solution and it works, not in every case, but in a lot of cases, just that simple trick will make sure that you're as compatible as possible. <laughs> Okay, that's all I want to show for today. I hope this was helpful in some small way, and I hope you're having a great week.